Well, the gig economy, you know, it kind of makes it sound like it's some sort of rock star lifestyle, and it's not. The gig economy has uh, grown quite a lot since the recession. And when we talk about the gig economy, what we're talking about is people working in very precarious type working structures, doing a job here and there. So we find out this is particularly affecting young people. So uh, about 20% of young people, and when I say young people, I mean under 30, um, are on a temporary contract and a huge proportion of those are involuntarily. Uh, there are students, there are third level academics doing it, there are migrants, there's a lot of different people and um, it's, it's, it's actually infiltrating into all um, sectors. So when it comes to technology in the labour market, I think there are two really important points to think about. First, this idea that we should embrace technology. Technology is not a threat to the labour market. It has the potential to make things more interesting, more exciting, can make work safer, can make it more productive. I think the second point is that we shouldn't fall into some form of technological exceptionalism. Just because technology is involved doesn't necessarily change the underlying business model. Not only are these types of employment have negative effects for workers in terms of the, the health and well-being of workers, but they also have negative effects for businesses and for society and the economy overall. This kind of insecurity, it feeds into our personal lives. That they can't plan for the future, there are health issues uh, such as so social issues, they, they start families later, they can't buy a house. People are having to choose between um, inhalers and, and food. That's what it comes down to. Unions should be um, actively recruiting in the areas where these uh, problems are most prevalent, in low paid sectors, in, t in sectors where they use temporary employment, and to make themselves relevant in these areas. The government needs to move to stop these forms of um, employment, in particular zero hours contracts, because these forms of employment, time and time again, research has shown has a negative effect on everybody, workers, businesses, the economy and overall society. I think governments, regulators, social partners should really embrace innovation and technology. But the important thing is that in fostering that innovation, that technology, we need to ensure there's a level playing field. Because that level playing field is the key to ensuring that whilst those who genuinely want it can enjoy the flexibility, on the other hand, it never becomes insecurity.